Hello and welcome to Networking Basics mini lecture series. In this mini lecture, you will be introduced to IPv4 addressing. The topics we will cover include what is an IPv4 address, what is the anatomy of an IPv4 address, and finally, what is the purpose of a subnet mask? An IPv4 address to a computer is like a telephone number to a cell phone. Imagine a cell phone without a telephone number. It would be impossible to call, that is, initiate or receive calls. The same applies to a network device. If the network device does not have an IP, it neither can initiate nor receive data communications. An IPv4 address consists of 32 bits, where each bit has a value of 0 or 1. Imagine trying to remember 32 bits. That is why we humans have or remember uh, these addresses using the dotted decimal representation. In this example, the 32 bits represented in dot dotted decimal representation is 192.168.2.3. It is a lot easier to remember this than the 32 bits. An IP address consists of two parts, the network and host portions. The network portion is like the area code of a telephone number. That is, all cells within the same calling region have the same area code. Likewise, all computers on the same network have the same network ID. The host portion is like the telephone number. All cells have a unique telephone number within the area code. Likewise, all computers have a unique host ID within the same network ID. You can find identical telephone numbers across area codes, but you will never find identical numbers within the same area code. Likewise, you may find computers with the same network ID, but they will not be on the same network. You must ask yourself the question, what area code is my computer in? The answer is the subnet mask and the prefix length are the two mechanisms that are used to convey the same information. They tell us what portion of our IPv4 address represents the network and what portion represents the host ID. A typical subnet mask is of the following form 255.255.255.0 and the equivalent prefix length is slash 24. The subnet mask and prefix length both represent exactly the same thing. They represent the number of bits allocated to the network and host portion. For example, a prefix length of 24 indicates that the first 24 bits, that is the higher order bits, 
the bits starting from the left of the address represent the network. The subnet mask that corresponds to a prefix length of 24 is 255.255.255.0 In a subnet mask, all bit values of a subnet mask representing the network portion of an address are set to 1. And all bit values of a subnet mask representing the host portion are set to 0. Going back to our earlier example, a prefix length of slash 24 would indicate that the first 24 bits, the first 24 bits or the 24 higher order bits are all set to 1. And these bits represent the network portion. We are left with 8 bits and these bits are set at 0 to represent the host ID. The equivalent of the 32-bit address in dotted decimal is 255.255.255.0. Here is a typical IPv4 address. Here we see the same, for the same address, we see the dotted decimal and the 32-bit representation. Let's assume for a second that the prefix length of this IP address was slash 24 and a slash 24 as we saw a bit earlier is equivalent to a dotted decimal subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 on the previous slide you learned that the slash 24 indicates that the first higher order bits represent the network portion. Therefore, let us draw the line across the first, or let us draw the line after the 24th bit. So everything to the left represents is the network ID, and everything to the right is our host ID. Therefore, the computer using this IP address is on network 192.168.10.0. All computers within this network will have identical network IDs. That is, the network ID will not change from one computer to the other on this network. Much like a telephone number, the area code does not change within a calling region. Likewise, in a computer network, all computers on the same network have the same area code, i.e. they have the same network ID. So. If for example, uh, another computer on this network, or all computers on this same this network, will all have the same constant 192.168.10 address. The only portion that would change would be the the host ID, and the host ID would be would have a, could have a value from one to 254. So our host IDs would be would have values from 1 to 254 and we would never never see 
two computers having the same host IDs. Let's put to practice the knowledge that we have just acquired. The question here is when is a router required for the following addresses? So we have three addresses uh, 192.168.2.100 slash 24. So all of our addresses have a slash 24 prefix meaning that the first or the uh, 24 higher order bits are represent the network ID. So let us cross a line here. So the area code or the network ID for all of these uh, computers are the first three decimals of our dotted decimal representation. If you were to initiate, the first question is, let's talk about a communication between address 1 and 2. So let's identify this as 1, 2, and 3. So is a router required between uh, devices having the addresses 1 and 2? Remember, a router is required for inter-network communication. Since addresses 1 and 2 are on the same network, as determined by examining their network ID, no router would be required. A router is only required when you initiate a communication outside of your network with a device that is outside of your network. So in this case, if we were to initiate a communication from a device having the IP address 2 to a device having IP address 3, if we examine the network IDs, uh, we clearly see that they are not on the same network. They are in different networks. Therefore, yes, the router is required. And in this case, uh, if, as let's assume that 2 was sending to 3, then 2 would send the message uh, to the router, and the router would do the heavy lifting. It would find the path to the uh, destination IP. What have we learned in this mini-lecture? We have learned that an IP address is 32 bits in length, that we humans cannot remember 32 bits, therefore we use the dotted decimal notation. We also learned that all devices of the same network have exactly the same network ID. We have learned that the subnet mask and prefix length represent the same thing. It tells us what part of the address is used for the network and what part is used for the host. The next mini-series, next mini-lecture, will deal with binary to decimal conversion and decimal to binary conversion. Hope you enjoyed uh, this mini lecture. Look forward to seeing you uh, shortly.